Hey guys, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Kiafa. Welcome back to my Tribers. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So I wanted to come and do a really quick video on the cons of being a surgical tech. All right, I'm outside, so it may be a little noisy, but a few days ago, I made a video on the pros of being a surgical tech. So today I wanted to make one on the cons of being a surgical tech. All right, so let's just hop right in, you guys. The first con that I have is that it's the entry level position. And what that really means is that um, you really don't get um, to advance you basically you how to say it, so you don't get the advance in the career so you just come in as a surgical tech and if you want to go further then you have to go back to school and to um, become a nurse or a physician assistant or a nurse practitioner or an RN um, first assistant which basically is still an RN if you're not familiar with the origin or like how surgical tech started then it basically is a spinoff of the nursing career field it started in one of the wards i can't remember i'll have to put that in but because it's basically a spinoff or a, it like came from the nurses being in the in the um war the education and the qualifications and everything really haven't progressed so well they're progressing now but for the last few years and probably i'm pretty sure over 30 years uh, surgical techs have been just like ojt positions and so now over the last few years they've started putting more um criteria into the qualification of becoming a surgical tech but as of right now it's still a entry level position if you want to go on and further your career the only way you would be able to do it is to leave the field altogether so you can still be a surgical tech but you may not be if you go to school to get a bachelor's your bachelor degree may be in a different field so that's one downfall to me of surgical tech is the um, the career and another downfall too is the fact that in the or when you look at it or when like from the outside looking in most of the places that i go to they put the surgical tech at the bottom of like the team so to speak and that's not like a realistic um view of a surgical tech i think everybody on the surgical team has just as much of an important part and so but i do notice that at some places like the nurses will think that their um, positions are more important or that they're some more superior to the team than the surgical tech when the truth is that they both have different positions so one isn't superior or inferior to the other one when you're speaking of a nurse and a surgical tech a surgical tech sole job is to understand asepsis our experts in asepsis as well as applying that asepsis technique to the human anatomy that's not what nurses do nurses nurse and they care for patients so there's a difference right now because of how the profession of surgical technology came about it still hasn't been the like the i don't know how to explain it we still haven't come up to the level of pay that represents our responsibility or the um, professional credentialing or anything like that it hasn't really been established yet because it's such a new profession but it's getting better because what i do know is that back in the day you would have to go through ojt to become a, a surgical tech what i mean by ojt is on the job training so you would get trained at that f facility to be a surgical tech for that facility but nowadays that's not really a thing from everywhere that i've gone you can't be a surgical tech unless you have completed a accredited surgical tech program and graduated so it is getting better as far as the requirements to become a surgical tech which means that the pay will have to be reflected at some point but as of right now it's still so new and it's not really a lot of advocates trying to push you know the equality of being a surgical tech in the in the OR like like I say in some cases most cases the nurses feel like they're superior than the tech and even like at the facility that I'm at now I've gotten bad information from nurses on sterile 
surgical TED stuff and so have other surgical TEDs. So even though I'm very much involved into my career, I'm learning that I have to be more like knowledgeable because you are on a surgical team, but that don't mean that they know your job. Like you have to know how to be a surgical tech and stand in your position as a surgical tech. And sometimes that means having to not so much be confrontational, but have a conversation that may be uncomfortable when someone that's not a surgical tech or have not been a surgical tech tells you, you know, what to do and they're wrong because they haven't been trained in the same manner that you have been to do that specific job so that's just one of a few of the like pros or excuse me a few of the cons um another con to be in a surgical tech is there is a super steep learning curve a lot of people don't realize this that you have to learn medical terminology anatomy you also have to learn uh, wound care you have to learn how the instruments work what instruments will be better for each is it is a lot you also have to understand pharmacology it is it's a lot and so depending on how your mind works it may be overwhelming to you but if you really want to do it i just say you know just go for it and everything will fall into play but medical terminology and human anatomy biology and pharmacology like those are some of the most important areas that we work in as far as being a surgical tech and having that understanding the next con that i see as being a surgical tech is the fact that you're being managed like i already stated you're being managed not only by people that don't really know how to be surgical in some in some cases some of the nurses have been surgical tech so that's not what i'm referring to but in some cases, most cases, the surgical, the, the nurses haven't been trained as surgical techs and they are being and they are being put in charge of surgical techs, which the the relation to the nurse isn't a equal to them. It's almost like you're a nurse's aide, you know, and they tr- kind of treat you as such, even though you're not a nurse's aide. Okay, so being managed, like I say, I don't, and just in general, like even if it wasn't, or I'm not like a, if if you have more of an entrepreneur mindset, then working for anyone, not just in the OR would be difficult. So that's just one of the the cons to me. It is a super physical job. You will be on your feet. You will be lifting patients. You will be thinking. You will be running back and forth, getting all kinds of stuff, trying to put out fire, solve problems all day long. That is what your job consists of. And that's just what it is, you know, um, especially the prolonged standing part, you will be standing. So if you want to practice getting ready for the being in the OR for a long period of time, just stand all day. Just do something that's going to allow you to stand so you can get used to actually standing. But it's super physical um, on your body and it's super challenging mentally. Another kind to being a surgical tech is there's so many different personalities in the OR and a lot of people in the OR have these very strong personalities so you will have to deal with, you know, not so much confrontation because I don't want y'all to feel like it's a confrontation but there will be, sorry my phone was far. there will be a time where you have to actually know what you're talking about and not be afraid to put yourself out there but don't talk shit or unless you know what you're talking about because then you just gonna look like you don't know what you're talking about and then another kind is the process of becoming a surgical tech where you have to go to school this to me totally blows but there is a way around going to surgical tech school not around it i should say but a better way to approach going to surgical tech school um, most of you guys, if you haven't watched my other videos, I'm here to tell you that me, I don't really condone going to school unless you can get, if you can see how your return on the investment of you going to school is going to benefit you. But surgical tech school is super expensive if you go to a private college, private like vocational school. My advice is to not go to one of those because it's going to be almost three to four times more than it would be at a community college. Even though I know going to a community college is super competitive and you may have to wait, I would advise waiting to get into the program. And while you're waiting, go to a website like study.com where you can clip out some of the courses and that will cut down your time. Clipping out the course just means that you'll be able to challenge the test um, for most of your prereqs and then you you won't have to pay for that once you go to the college. Your, their transferable college credits. 
And you guys, that's really all I have as far as the cons, um, being a surgical tech. You do, I don't know if this is a con to you, but you will have to work away from your family as far as going to work. So if you have little kids, you may have to put them in daycare or have someone watch them. So that may be a con to you. And the pay structure, normally you have to get paid every two weeks in most places or some kind of rotation like that. That may be a con to you, but if you're looking to get paid weekly, then you do have the option of traveling. So you guys, that's all I have right now as far as cons and surgical tech. If you have any questions, ooh, excuse me, feel free to leave the comment in the comment section below and I will catch you guys on the next video. I love you and thank you for watching.